so hello friends in this video i am going to do a continuation of water calculation so in the last video we have done an energy calculation in this video i am going to do an energy minimization so let's start our calculation we have to again go to builder we cannot use this we have to use water because water is the only system i think i can do i will try to do with methane or ethane something then but uh, let's see how far we can go with our laptop so now this is our file we have to just save it before let me just go to calculate option calculation setup we can do an optimization in the previous case we have done just simply minimization here i am going to do an optimization so i will just go to heart refoc i will use heart refoc and then i will just increase the size of basis set and we can also add d plus plus but this is uh, i am not doing it but the 631g we want and let me just go to so there is by default opt there title like will do water minimization minimization okay so it's an optimization it will be so opt i can write now we have to just submit it we would like to save this file but we will save it as okay so it is not showing the by default folder let me just go to water and i will save it as an h2o and opt that is what we want okay now confirm submission we want to just this SCA job man is basically a job manager which actually help you to uh, see whether your job is going or not so I will just use it so it is showing that I am submitting the job so I will submit it and meanwhile we can do something with this we can find out the bond angle between these three atom and it will be around 109.5 by default it is a very good molecule and uh, then we can go to bond distances so it is around nearly around 0.96 if i correctly remember yes it is nearly around 0.96 so next we have to just wait for our calculation it will hardly take two or three minutes if i correctly remember or it will take 30 seconds so let's see how much it will take do and it will notify us whenever it will come so we have to just wait and meanwhile i can show you one very good option that what you can do you can okay so our job is finish now let's see open we can open this file checkpoint file i think it's okay so it is open very good now we can do something with that what we can do let's just i am the in this file so let me just go to calculate okay note results let's do something let's see output file so it is our input file or output file so it's a basically in file which will give you the coordinates or something so we are not interested in this file so i will just go to calculate results and i will just stream output file so it's output file okay so we have actually opened a checkpoint file so we don't want that we want a log file so we have to open we have to open a log file this is our log file open we can just do now i think it will show everything results we can just see we edit file so that is our initial it will just name the developers and what versions we are using it is basically so Gaussian 9 so then in the end if your job you have done everything good so it will just print in normal termination so normal termination of Gaussian means you have done everything correctly now let me just go to something I will just show you results we can see atomic properties we can just see atomic number but I will like to see Mulkan charges and show numbers yeah very good so Mulkan charges we have calculated which is very good now let me just go to another thing we can go to results we can go to bond properties 
we can see lengths we can see order order we can see let's see show numbers so bond order between these two atoms is 1.1 which is very usual because OH bond is approximately around 1 can we just see the bond length length we can see it is around 0.95 very good so now let's do something else we can have surface counter no I will just uh, I will not show so it is other options are not coming energy optimization or other part but I think this so much we can do charge distribution we can see let's see charge dis distribution it is similar to I think Mulkan Mulkan it is supporting then we can just color atomic charges so atomic charges are around it is on hydrogen then range we can change let's change the range okay so it is not making any problem so we can just do it so there is very one good thing I would like to add this uh, in this video so what we can do there is one very good software uh, which I usually um, do I will just copy this checkpoint file a thing called okay multi-wave function multi-wave function is a very good software let me I have just already installed it those who don't know how to install multi-wave function you can always install it and you and uh, let me just take it in my way and you have to just okay it has gone but we just don't want that we can just go to our file and we can just type enter and it will read the file and is it going to read it no it is not going to read it if I correctly remember so there is one thing we have to do we have to just cancel it we have to go to G09 if I correctly remember G09 D09 is not there G09 okay Gaussian 9 is there we have Gaussian 9 app so we will just use this Gaussian 9 and we will see what we can do try to add this part so what we have to do is we have to just go to this folder multi wave function folder we have to just open files and we have to just select all files then it will show and we have to just all file it is showing so let me just multi wave function we have to go then we can see so this chk file we have to convert into the fchk file so that is actually required and now what we have to do is we have to say okay now what we can do is we can use utility and we can generate a form check file and we have to just h2o opt chk file just open it and let me just start it and then we will see there is will be an fchk file so i think it is over so let me just see it so we have gaussian formatted checkpoint file so we have this format gaussian format checkpoint file let me just show you so what why i am doing it because i think most of the people don't know how to use it so then you can go to multi wave function multi wave function is there so we have to just drag this file and i will show you something very interesting okay so it has gone now i will just go and select drag this file and just type enter now there is a very good thing we can do we call it population analysis and atomic charges so those who want to calculate atomic charges there are options Hirschfeld atomic charge char char analysis Mulkan Laurin so there are so many uh, atomic charges you can do so I will just show you Hirschfeld we have to just type 1 and I will just use first option and it yes we want in file so yes we can do it will create some coordinates so let me just 
close it there and I will see what are the charges we have to open it in a notepad and let's see what it will show so those who don't know what is harsh fuel charges they have to just understand and learn it from the basics so you can see these are the charges these are the charges which you want so harsh fuel charges are there which is very good now we have like also added one part so hope you are liking this video thanks for subscribing my channel and stay tuned for new videos thank you